This is one of the most incredibly innovative ideas to get young people inspired by the science, technology, engineering and mathematics opportunities. It's not every day you get to build a plane in school. Our skills secretary has said that there is a big shortage of engineers and technicians in this country and that is going to affect our future. This is the Yateley school plane, it's a Rans S6 Coyote. Wooden propeller. Ofsted is the inspecting body for schools. Um, they mentioned the project as one of our good points and it was a good example of students working collaboratively. Humid air goes through here. This one takes in the hot air from the exhaust, which is mixed together in this box here, which goes into the carburetor. What I would like to say to the audience out there is don't be shy to get your ideas, no matter how crazy or how simple they are. These are the elevators and they make the plane go up and down. The issue we have is subjects in isolation sometimes don't mean a lot to students, but when you put them together and you put it in a real life context, building a real plane, working with real engineers, looking at solving real problems, then it all comes to life and that's real education. I think science is moving away from the nerdy stereotype into something that's seen as a bit cooler, especially with aviation and projects like this really bring that on. This project is about getting young people interested in engineering and giving them life skills and maybe, help, like me, helping them find a career path. This is the reason I'm interested in engineering and it's made me look at more university courses and more careers that will benefit me and give me a very a successful future. The aircraft is a proper aeroplane, although it's a microlight. So we've got full controls. It's a magic recipe purely because it's something that envelops everything that we try and do in the classroom. A project such as this links everything together. We've had pupils and volunteers using the board, working out mathematical formula. We've discussed what things are made from, so we bring the science in. Technology is obviously fundamental to it. Because of that, linking everything together, it's going to make them more employable in the future. You can, you can actually see exceptional ability shining through. In order to have flight, the following four forces must be in balance. Gravity, thrust, lift and drag. This looks like being the hottest day of the year, uh, year at Farnborough. So sunscreen, hats, uh, certainly lots of water. Flaming Yankee runs when ready, clear for display. Build a plane duo rolling. For the first time ever, aircraft built by students will perform in the flying display at the Farnborough Air Show, the greatest air show ever. But the students directly involved have used their mathematics, engineering, technology while building and flying their own aircraft, and in doing so, they have learned very important life skills. And the Build a Plane Challenge has inspired many thousands of students elsewhere, wherever the aeroplane has been exhibited. <laughs>